Well, hello there. Welcome to Live with Lynn. So today I want to talk about how to stop making excuses. We all do it, right? Every one of us. And um, I am just as guilty as everybody else. But I'm going to give you some ideas today on how we can maybe stop stop making excuses or maybe make less, right? So um, first off, why do we make excuses? Well, I think probably the first number one reason is fear. You know, we have that fear that of going outside of our comfort zone and so we make excuses because we don't want to go out of our comfort zone. Um, and that, that keeps us from, you know, having to deal with the unknown. And the thing is, though, is that fear is really highly understood. People are often afraid of things because mainly because they don't know what to expect or they don't know. It's more of a fear of the unknown than anything else. They don't know what will happen if they do this. And so it's just that they're lacking the information they need. So, you know, being afraid, sometimes you just have to feel the fear and do it anyway. But that's a reason, that's a big reason, I think, why a lot of us make excuses. Another reason is, again, it's, it's also a fear, but it's a fear of failure. You know, we're afraid that what if, what if we, um, what if we don't, what if it doesn't work or what if we don't make it happen? You know, here's the deal though. Fail, failure is unavoidable. I can't even talk. Failure is unavoidable. It doesn't matter who you are or how successful you are. At some point during your life, you're going to fail no matter what. That's just how it is. And whenever you're trying something new, you're always taking risks and there's always a chance of failing. So it's important to remember, though, that when you fail, that doesn't mean you lose everything. It doesn't mean that that, you know, that everything just falls apart because you failed. All it really means is that things aren't going to go the way you expected and, and you're going to need to make an adjustment. You're going to need to be flexible to say, OK, well, this isn't working. So what do I need to do to change that? So it's not really a failure. It's just that things didn't go right. Right. And so if you're if you make excuses because you're afraid of failing, you're never going to try anything new. So that's just important to remember. Um, another reason why we make excuses a lot of times is because we don't have specific goals. So sometimes, you know, we need our goals to be specific and measurable. It's easy to make excuses if you don't achieve something, if you didn't really know what it was that you were trying to achieve to begin with. So a perfect example of that is if you want to say, I want to lose weight this year. And I'm going to lose 10 pounds in the next six weeks. Can you see the difference? 10 pounds is specific and six weeks is time-based and it's achievable. I'm going to lose six pounds. I mean, I'm sorry, 10 pounds in six weeks. So you are literally, you're setting a time and you're setting a specific goal. And it's a lot easier to achieve that than it is, oh, well, I'm going to lose weight this year. You know, so so not being specific is another reason why I think we make excuses and comparison. People always a lot of times we feel we're, we're afraid of being compared to others. And we we perceive and I'm really guilty of this one, but we're, we're kind of nervous about being compared to somebody who we perceive is better or well, better spoken or, you know, in whatever some other way is better than we are better than I am, right? I mean, I this is something. I measure myself up to see if, if I'm going to look better or worse than the person who, who I perceive as being up there. And so, you know, it's really important to let go of that, though, because, you know, you what good does it do you to compare yourself to others? It's not going to help you succeed. It's not going to help anything. And the truth is, you know, maybe when compared with someone else, you might be the best. So I would let that go. I mean, I, well, I, I have to do, I have to work on that, but we, we all need to let that go. So how to avoid making mistakes, right? If you're so afraid, you're afraid of making mistakes, let's talk about how, how to kind of avoid what we can, right? So first off, um, take responsibility. So, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. If you have anything to do with it, you need to take responsibility for it. So you take responsibility for your life and you focus on the things that you can control and let go of the things that you can't. And then um, don't allow yourself to make excuses when things go wrong. And so, you know, sometimes even when you don't have control, um, you, you still don't want to make excuses because it didn't work out. I mean, because bottom line is one way or another, if it is something that you are in charge of or you're responsible for, then you are responsible for it. So take responsibility. You know, if you're building a team, like I have an Avon team, so you're building your team. And if somebody on my team isn't doing what they're supposed to do, 
sure, that's not my fault. That's their fault. But I'm still going to take responsibility for that. I'm going to do what I can to help that person. And, you know, maybe I didn't train them properly or maybe I didn't inspire them and whatever. But it doesn't mean I need to beat myself up. It just means that I need to say, okay, what could I have done better and move on from there? right? Um, Focus on what matters. So that's the biggest thing. If you concentrate on what matters, then you're going to get what matters done, right? So um, you, if you um, focus on, so it's like prioritizing things. So focus on what's the most important thing you need to get done. And then if you have time, then you can focus on the things that are not as important. So you get the first things done first. That's really critical. Um, Consider your life as a training ground. You know, like I said earlier, um, you don't lose everything when you fail. In fact, failure isn't like such a dead stop. It's not like you fell off a cliff and you're dead. I mean, that that's a possibility, I suppose. But that's not if that's not what failure and that's not why we make excuses every day. Right. So consider your life to be a training ground. You know, failure to achieve your goal just means you have opportunities to learn and to grow and you can become a better person and you can achieve better results because you learned and you took a turn. This didn't work. So you took a turn and you um And you did the next thing, you know, you just kept doing it. So with that attitude, you begin to see your failure as an essential part of your education. And so that that's really what it's all about. Everything for us is about moving forward, about bettering ourselves, bettering our life. And every little failure, everything that we we run into, it just gives us a reason to get stronger or to look at it a different way or to figure out what it is that we need to do differently. Um. Remember the long-term goal. So it's the long-term goal that's important. Everything else is just part of the journey. And then expect challenges. I mean, you know, nothing worthwhile comes without a fight. It doesn't matter what it is. You're going to have to fight for it probably. And challenges are just an essential part of life. They're just essential part of what we do. And so you want to embrace the challenges. You want to be engaged with them and you want to overcome them. And that's going to allow you to grow as a person. And really, Excuses aren't. Excuses aren't going to help you grow. The challenges are. So accept them, embrace them, become better, and you will be better. Anyway, thanks for being here with me today. Hope you have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.